Nation. References were made and we're talking about divine connection. Lord, we ask for everyone here today, Lagos, Abuja, anywhere we have, anyone following us online, we ask, oh God, you connect us aright in the name of Jesus. Amen. Concerning our relationships, Lord, people are expectant. People have done several things. They have met several people, and yet it looks like it's not working. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray this morning, let the heavens be opened in the name of Jesus. Amen. Some might meet their own here today. Some might not meet their own here today. But God, we ask, oh God, every, the heavens over our life, for everyone not married, we ask, let the heavens be opened in the name of Jesus. Amen. And Lord, we pray also that everyone here today, let our eyes also be opened in the name of Jesus. Amen. Scripture says Jesus touched a man, a person. He says, I see men like trees. What will he do? He will cut people down, talk to people anyhow. Because he's seen them like trees. But Bible says Jesus touched again. He said, I see clearly. I decree today. Cause us to see clearly in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, marvelous Father. Amen. Jesus' name we've prayed. Amen. Isaiah 34, 16 says, You should seek from the book of the Lord and read. He said, None of it shall lack his mate. You will not lack your mate in the name of Jesus. Amen. You will not lack your mate in the name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord will lead and will direct us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Okay, within a few times, a minute, we have one to check some relationship tips. And, you know, several things are happening. And people are saying, you know, you know, you want to go out during the break. They say connection, buy people food, buy this, buy that. Please do it. It's very, very good. And, you know, don't be writing down, ah, I've bought for five people, six people now. And some people here, all you might be doing today will be you just be collecting. You just be collecting. You collect here. You collect here. Ah. May your confusion not increase in Jesus' name. May you not increase in Jesus' name. Ah. You just collect this one, collect that one. You'll be a Now, you know, and, uh, you know, Abraham said something. He said, no, Jesus said before Abraham. Jesus said, the prince of this world comes and find nothing in me. Are you getting me? So, when anybody is giving you anything, just be sure terms and conditions do not apply. Uh, apply. So they won't be asking you, ah, you chop uh, that. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Relationship tips. I sent in some slides. Let's see how many we can go through. The slides, please. Okay. Why the slide is coming up? We just listened to career. And the first thing in my slide is marriage isn't a career. And having a spouse is not financial breakthrough. <laughs> Marriage is not a career. So the way we want to, uh, you know, people just finish writing the exam, so, ah, well, now I can do other things. You don't take marriage like that one, no. And really, if you take it like that, we, I want to marry, maybe a wedding event look like a task that you are pursuing in that manner. But don't pursue marriage like that. And those are kind of things that leads to abandonment and see finish syndrome. But you get it. Do you get what I'm saying? Abandonment and see finish syndrome, it looks like a task. And if you get into a relationship with a person and you think because of that, that solves some issues financially, it's not the best. Because some of those things you put together might help you to put together the event. But marriage is not even just about the money. Because the money could be there does not mean the whole will be together. So marriage is not a career. Prioritize your life. You must prioritize your life. Proverbs 24 verse 27. Proverbs 24, 27. Let me read by my Bible here. It says, prepare your work outside, make it fit for yourself in the field, and afterward build your house. Now, he was talking about preparation. So you must prioritize your life and put everything in perspective. You must prioritize your life. Now, one thing that happens to us is the fact that about marriage, over the years, 
over the years, unconsciously, from childhood, you've been preparing for marriage. But you were not just conscious about it. But you were more conscious about how you've been preparing for your career. And Lee, please, your marriage is something you must be conscious about. And it starts from childhood. It starts from childhood. The way you are relating from childhood on some issues, you just... You, 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 you grow into it. You are not loving from your childhood and you're, you're not checking it. You're not checking it and you think uh, it's going to change in marriage. It would not. So marriage is totally different from career. And don't try your financial breakthrough to marriage. If you are poor before marriage and you are not hardworking before marriage, ladies and gentlemen, marriage might be an amplifier. Half <laughs> volume. It will give you volume. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Number two which concerns all of us, is ah, the slide. Number two, your wife is a bride. The slide, please. I see. Your wife is a bride. And please, you are not supposed to ride her. Mm. She is a bride. And who are you? You are the groom, not the broom. <laughs> now, you see that they say they call the husband what? Bride groom. You are what? A groom. Expecting her to come up. You are supposed to groom her. So you are not supposed to ride her. Let everything be done in order. You are supposed to give affection, not affliction. Show her love. Don't ride her. And look, he's a groom, but don't just be passing him anyhow. Uh, we need this, so we need that, so just for him to be sweeping everything in, sweeping it out. No. You just sit down there. Uh, you know they say you have to take care of us. Uh, you have to take care of us. <laughs> he will take care of himself first too now. You were brought in as a helper. You were brought in for a purpose. And you keep telling him. Ah, hey, they say you are the head of the family. You are the head of the family. Look, he is the head. But you know that head will not stand alone. He needs something to balance it. So if you say he's the head, you see you too. You are the neck and the body self. Your own plenty. <laughs> so you are supposed to give him stability. Else, he will not be the head. He will be the headache. He will just be nagging, giving it to you. So we must take care of one another. In fact, the solution to taking care of one another is preferring one another. Look for his best interest. Look for our best interest. It is not just about you. WIIFM, what is in it for me? Always what is in it for me? Number three, marriage is an assignment, not an achievement. Marriage is an assignment. Number three, is an assignment. It is not an achievement. Genesis chapter 2 from verse 18 to 20. It says, it is not good for man to be alone. It is an assignment. It is not an achievement, a status. That yes, I've achieved something. The way you bag BSc, you bag uh, PhD, uh, you bag everything, you say, what's a bag marriage too? No. It says, it is not good for man to be alone. So God had an assignment for the man. God had an assignment for the man. He said, bring an helper meat. So she's also not coming as a liability. She's coming as an asset. She has something. She wants to help. An helper suitable. Because before you came, God saw animal. And he saw the way peacock was. He saw the way baboon was. They were. And all those things. He said, these ones are not fitting. They won't fit his purpose. So he brought an helper fit, suitable. That's what you are. And what happened? A person by the name Barbara the Angelis says, marriage is not a noun. It is a verb. It is a continuous thing. So it's not a tax that mission accomplished. Bam. In fact, it's a daily thing. It's a daily thing. It is something you it isn't something you get, it is something you do. Marriage might be a tax. A wedding might be a tax. Okay, good. We have, we've done our wedding. But marriage, in fact, it is a daily thing. Is something you must continuously service. Otherwise, it will fizzle out. It is the way you show love to your partner every day. That is what marriage is all about. It is an assignment, not an achievement. It is a verb. It's an action word. It is an action word. It is not the name of a place. 
It's not the name of a now, the name of a place, animal place or thing. No. No, it is an action word. And that's why someone says marriage is a verb. That love without action is a bundle of fabricated fallacy. There must be action. It's a verb. So marriage is something you nurse from time to time. If you don't nurse it, it will dry up. If you don't water it, it will wither. If you don't water it, it won't blossom. It will just exist so, so. If you don't fine tune it, you won't get the best of it. Maybe one more because of our time. One more. Now, for you singles, watch this. And watch it very well. Stamp out intimacy without commitment. You just have intimacy, no commitment. The person gives you close marking. If you want to tackle me, tackle me. If you want to go, go. But intimacy, no commitment. Everything where they see you, how is brother this? Everywhere they see you, how is sister this? So it looks like Alemo. Are you getting me? The people have matched you, they've tagged you along, but that brother, there is no, no commitment. He's not showing you anything. He has not even said anything. Listen, don't blame him, don't blame her. Intimacy. Look, be responsible for your life. And see what you did to me. See what you did to No, it's your life. He broke my heart. He, look, who told you it's only man that breaks women's hearts? Or it's only women that breaks men. He broke my heart. She bro No, 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 no. Intimacy without commitment, watch out for it. Ask the question like John the Baptist. Uh, he sent uh, his disciples to Jesus. Are thou the one to come or will look for another? He asked Jesus, are you the one to come or look for another? If you know the person is not the one to come, just so share the grace. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us now and forevermore. Hey. We will still be coming to fellowship. You will be in the choir, I will be in the choir, but no canopy. So you sing that song, free to raise my hands. You, when you sing that song, you really know you are free indeed. Ah, you must be free. <laughs> so, all those intimacy, you, I mean, you show people as if you are my bodyguard, I'm the one that is there. You are not there. <laughs> you put me on your DP, you've not said anything. It's every day my birthday. <laughs> the customers that are supposed to come, you are, you are not there, uh, allowing them to come. <laughs> Please, take responsibility. <laughs> take responsibility. Please, I know you like me, but unnecessarily over displaying my bed. My bed was two months or three months ago. Change your DP. I don't know. Says advertising. No, 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 no. So all those intimacy without commitment, let's avoid it. Do I have one more time? No more time. Oh, well, thank God. God bless. One more. Okay, one more. They said one more. One more. Good. One more. Good. Character and not chemistry. Watch that. Character, chemistry ignites the fire. But character keeps that fire burning. Now, what do we talk about chemistry? Chemistry is that thing you talk about that the thing is doing me, gishi, 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 bang, bang. <laughs> so when you see somebody, is that attraction? Are you getting me? That thing that makes you like, oh, that's the way you make you feel. There's this song we used to sing. I just thought of it recently. Tell me the Christianity, God in that song. You are... The love of my life, you are the song that you mean. Uh -huh. Okay, next. Uh huh. Next. Uh huh. Again. Who are you singing that song from, really? That song does not have address. That song was not addressed. So, at time, <laughs> you said? It has what? Okay, that particular one is the chorus. Please always sing the verse as well. Stop at that chorus. It's only the chorus you sing. And somebody might just be looking. Someone who does not understand Christianity is a worship song. Eh? The person will just be receiving. So, Chemistry talks about the attraction, the coming together and everything. But ladies and gentlemen, chemistry, 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 ah, chemistry, 
there. Chemistry is not sufficient to sustain you. Are you getting me? Chemistry at times is makeup. Are you getting me? Tell the person to make up their mind. It, chemistry at times is show off. And you know even the, the big car we use in chemistry can break. Uh, those big cars can break. All those folly, all those tubes can break. So all those Coca-Cola bottle, 6 by 5 sugar, St. Louis, all of those things can change. Character is what matters. It's what is sustainable. Character is what is transcendent. Character is what before now. Ladies and gentlemen, don't trade character for chemistry. And look, by the time you focus too much on chemistry, how she looks, as you know, and let me tell you, in Christendom, there are some things that compliment, and listen, as a child of God, they give it to you as a compliment. No, it is, Bible says, let the beauty of the Lord be seen in me. So when they look at you as a sister, and you are sexy, they'll tell you you are sexy. No, it's not a good compliment. No, sincerely. It's not being religious, but listen, what the scripture says, say, let the beauty of the Lord be seen in me. So what someone sees in you, you can't even see the glory of God. As if I told you you are godly. I never told you I love the way you speak in tongues. <laughs> no, they've not told you that. Oh, so when someone, so Bible says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. So, and that is the chemistry they are radiating very soon. That chemistry, if you are not careful, can turn to biology. <laughs> and biology will turn to what? Physics. Physics is physical structure. <laughs> it will not be your portion in the name of Jesus. So, it's important. Finally, 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 is escapism. Marriage does not fix any problem. Marriage is not an escape route. If you have issues in your family before marriage, face that issue. Deal with it squarely. If you are lazy as a youth, face it now. If you are lazy as a young man, face it now. Marriage is not escapism. You are not washing your clothes. You are not doing some things. You think I need someone in my life to help me with all these things. Ah. Uh, you are tired of doing those things now. Marriage is not escapism. It does not fix personal problem. It does not fix psychological problem. It does not fix emotional problem. In fact, if you are bankrupt before marriage, that bankruptcy status might not change. Marriage is not escapism. It's not a way to offload your, the issues and challenges in your life. Ladies and gentlemen, face it yourself, and God will transform us in Jesus' name. You have a wonderful time. God bless you.